Hey, how's it going? So I just wanted to show you something quick that was driving me crazy the other day on the uh, Digitone. I was trying to sync it up with uh, my TD3 here, and for some, you know, I looped it in through MIDI, uh, through the MIDI out into the MIDI in on the TD3. I'm like, okay, cool. It's going to pick up the uh, the uh, MIDI clock. It's going to pick up the uh, tempo and all that fun stuff. Well, I couldn't get it to work. I Googled around. Well, to save you time. Um, what the problem was is I had to go into this little menu here and go to the MIDI config and within here there's the sync menu and by default at least on my device uh, whoops uh, the clock the clock send was uh, was uh, disabled so as soon as I turned that on that fixed my problem now before that I thought it was an issue with the TD3 um, I upgraded the software on that. I did a whole bunch of Googling. <laughs> I couldn't find anything, so I just wanted to uh, uh, do a demo of that because now, without that, you know, I'm using the, the sequencer on the, uh, on the TD3, but uh, the problem was I wanted to loop it up with uh, some other tracks on the Digitone. So, of course, when I hit play, I wanted it to trigger the TD3. Let me turn on my sample here. And of course, I want to keep the tempo, the tempo on here to match up to the tempo on here. Oops. And the other thing I had to do is I had to turn it to medium mode. I just turned it back because now it's not looped up. And of course, it can't trigger it. put the uh, TD3 back into MIDI mode. So now that's in MIDI mode. Let's go back to Digitone. Enable the clock send. And no part way out of this menu. And now when I hit play, the TD3 is hooked up to the uh, same tempo as the uh, Digitone. So if I change the tempo on the Digitone, it's going to change the tempo on the TV. So that's fun. That's all I wanted to show you. Have a good one.